And you've both done work based on young adult novels, and to me, they just often seem more original and bolder than other movie screenplays. I just wondered how far you might um, agree with that. Amanda, maybe starting with you. Yeah, I, I definitely think that young adult books are... I mean, I, I love young adult books. Like, I've grown up reading them, and I feel like because they don't necessarily take themselves as seriously because they're for a younger audience, like, there's so much more creativity and joy and all kinds of cool stuff that like, can be in it. And so I think the that's the case with this film as well. And, and Nick, well, perhaps we'll move on to um, just talking about creating the relationship between Maddie and Ollie, particularly in the, those early scenes when they're not actually really seeing each other face to face, you know, in the, in the novel. It's um, I am and, and text messages. Um, tell us a bit about creating that connection be between them, even though they're not really in the same room. Well, I think that there's an, um, an instant connection. I think they see each other and there's just a curiosity that gets piqued. Um, Ollie moves into this new neighborhood and he's trying to kind of find his place in it. And uh, Maddie has never lived next door to a teenager before, her own age. So they both are curious and unsure. Not She never goes outside. And when they start talking, I think, is when they begin to actually form a, uh, a relationship and they are speaking to each other across their bedroom windows. Um, not your typical love story, but... Um, and then that eventually comes to the point where they need to meet in person, and they do, and... Yeah, I, it's it's an unusual way, unusual set of circumstances. And so many, so many people nowadays do form bonds online, you know, years before they actually meet each other, mm -hmm. don't they, and get them well, so I like what that sort of represents in the film. And you've both done um, big blockbuster movies, like you have The Darkest Minds coming out, and obviously you did The Hunger Games, you did Jurassic World. I just wondered what it's like for you as an actor, kind of how, how it compares to be on a film like this, where it's, you know, often just the, the two of you in, um, in the scenes. Uh, it's a little more intimate, a little more uh, down to earth and fun, and. Um, I had a great time just hanging out, getting to know Amanda. And uh, yeah, it, it feels a little less hectic. than. Yeah, I, I think because it was such a small cast, it did create a feeling of like intimacy and, and we were able to get really comfortable really quickly, which was like great for the movie. And your character, Maddie, she writes short uh, book reviews mm -hmm. online. I just wondered what your short review would be of the movie Everything, Everything. <laughs> Without saying the poster. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the, prof the professional version of it. But what I said before was, love is worth everything, everything. Which is actually a reference to the movie that you'll see. And you both have um, big social media followings. I just wondered what kind of sense of responsibility you feel before you um, post something or you know, re retweet something or something like that. Because, um, and obviously you're, sp you're speaking to a huge number of, of fans and young, young people. Yeah, I definitely feel a sense of responsibility with social media just because I feel like it's a really useful tool. And so I try to use it as well as I can in order to not put stuff out that gives people contorted, weird ideas of what it is to be a person. Like, I, especially with beauty standards, I try to be aware of that. Yeah, I, it's a little different. I try and post, you know, as authentically as possible. <laughs> and... Um, but yeah, you do feel a responsibility. You have an audience, so there's people listening. And in the film, Maddie and her mum, their kind of go-to movie is Moonstruck. I just wondered for each of you which movie you would go to, maybe if you want to feel a little uplifted, or one that you can just watch endlessly without getting tired of. Every... Any... Oh, go, go. <laughs> Every time I'm sick, I watch Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, that's actually such a good one. Yeah. I was going to say Annie Hall, but Ferris Bueller's Day uh, Off Annie was Hall's like... Annie Hall's a good one, too. And just finally, I just wondered if I you had a go at phonetic. Scrabble in real life, and if you'd recommend that, <laughs> I've never actually played phonetic Scrabble. I hadn't heard of it before bad. this. Yeah, yeah, it sounds <laughs> overly complicated. <laughs> Nick, Amanda, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? Yeah. Nice. Hey.